Imagine outranking your competitors on Google without spending a fortune on tools like Ahrefs, SEMrush or Moz. This sounds too good to be true, right? Well, stick around and I'm going to share with you how with real-time SERP data and AI, you can rank on the first page of Google fast without paying for these expensive tools. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Subscribers to the channel have a passion for SEO and staying ahead of the curve. Now, before we get started, you might be asking yourself, what does this guy know about ranking on the first page of Google? Well, just gone onto Google. I've typed in how to rank on the first page of Google. Let's see what comes up. The first two results, how to rank on the first page of Google. That's my video. How to rank on the first page of Google in 24 hours. That's my video. It doesn't really matter whether you're trying to rank for a video or for a blog, the same principles apply. You need to do keyword research. And most people do this by heading to one of these tools. Ahrefs, probably one of the most popular tools for SEO and doing the research required. Problem with it is it is out of reach for nearly everyone at $129 a month. You can forget it for most people. Now, to be fair, there is a free tool within it, but here's the problem, right? If I put in, say, learn SEO and hit find keywords, it's giving the information at such a high level, you actually can't do much with it. It's not giving you a volume range. It's just saying it's hard. The other thing is you can't export or do anything with it. So whilst it is free, it's pretty much useless. Next, we have SEMrush. But again, they've pretty much priced themselves out for most people who can pay $139 a month. They also have a free tool which you can generate a few queries. But there's a big problem with it. If you try to use the SERP checker tool, let's say we put in SEO and hit the button here. This is what you get, which pretty much is useless. Alrighty, this is Sigma SEO, blah, blah, blah. You've probably already heard of it. But what you don't know is that it actually has a couple of really cool SEO research tools. Now, if we scroll down to the bottom here and you go through all the features and everything it does, you're not going to see anything on here that talks about SEO research tools. And the reason for that is it's actually only going to be made available for YouTube subscribers, people that watch this video and the early adopters. OK, to be super clear, if you do decide to give this a go with what I'm going to show you today, everything that I go through is available on this Essentials monthly plan. Enough said on this. Let's go and take a look at it. So I've just hit get started. I'm all signed in. To get to the keyword research tools, we just go over here to tools and this has been updated. There's a whole new layout here and this is where the magic happens. So where we've got enter a keyword, let's type in SEO and watch what happens. This is not cut. This is real time. It's super fast. If I just put in SEO. We'll stick with the United States. You can select other regions and get the SEO data just for that region. And this data is coming from Google itself via an API. So if we hit analyze. There we go. That is real time, a couple of seconds. Now it has listed out for SEO. It's given us 700 keywords. And if you scroll down, you can see there is hundreds of them being returned. Now I'll just go back up the top, just run through it. So we've got the keyword, the monthly volume. This is for October 2024. It's going to tell you what period that this data is coming from, the keyword difficulty, the intent, and the cost per click. Now this is coming from Google ads and it is somewhere around the midpoint. So if you go onto Google ads, you know, it may say $7 at the low end, 21 at the high. This number here reflects generally somewhere around the midpoint of that cost per click. These other tools like SEMrush and Moz and Ahrefs, they do provide this information, but not necessarily in the same form and doesn't have the sort of the, the graphics and the punch that this does. But then you've just got to work out what you do with it. What is different about Sigma and the way this SEO tool works? If we go down to the bottom here, if you can't be bothered analyzing this for yourself, you can use the magic analysis. So let's just click on this and it is going to come up with some suggestions for this niche. So here we go. None of this is cut or edit, edited in the video. This is just what, we, what we're getting back. So um, hopefully it's it's OK. Now you can see here this one is a bit random. I guess in some parts of the world this will mean something to someone. But if we go down to the next one, look at this one. Essential SEO tools for your digital marketing strategy. Here's our target keywords. SEO tools, Google SEO, SEO audit and best tool for SEO. Content strategy gives you that here. And the keyword metrics. So this data is coming from our, 
our research data set, monthly searches, and our difficulty. And you, there's a bit of a mix from sort of generally this, you could rank for this. These ones are getting a bit harder. So it gives you an idea. There's definitely volume and you can definitely rank for this with a good piece of content. Um, next one down, understanding SEO, a beginner's guide. This is all pretty high. This is going to be hard to rank for. There's a lot of content around this, so you might want to skip that if you're just starting out. And the fifth one here, SEO for local business. Again, this is probably in the mid mid range of difficulty, but there is huge volume. So for a well-written piece of content targeting these keywords that have been highlighted, you know, it gives you an option. So rather than Analyzing all the data yourself, here is basically a quick reference or a quick guide to what you might want to do. Now, what we can do is if we pick one of these, we can actually generate the content within Sigma. Alrighty, so I'm actually going to go with this one here, Article Suggestion 2. So I'll just copy the title, paste that in here. So I'm on the AI Stealth SEO Writer. I'll stay with English, Informative. I'll go for 1250 words. US Canada is okay. Now here we can put our target keywords in. So I'm just going to copy them over one by one, SEO tools. All right, so we've got our target SEO keywords in there. AI detection avoidance level, we'll stay with standard. Perspective's okay. The domain, we can probably go with general for this one. We'll be fine. Complexity level, we'll stay with moderate format. Markdown, I want to include an FAQ and include metadata suggestions. And the metadata and suggestions here it should include our keywords as well because they play a very important role when we're trying to rank for these keywords so now we can submit this alrighty so we've generated our content we've got our FAQ and we also have our metadata suggestions so I'm not going to go right through the article here but what I can tell you is this will not only pass AI detection, it is focused around our keywords and our title, which we know has volume. And we also know the difficulty of targeting those keywords. So this is a great piece of content. We can add our FAQ onto the end of it. And if we take a look at our metadata suggestions, we can start seeing our keywords are appearing within these suggestions. So this is really good for SEO. Everything's going to tie together really nicely. And if we go back over to here and I just tab off this, you can export this and this will come out in a JSON file, which we you can manipulate any way you like. But also if you go back up to the top here, and I'm not going to run through, through these today, but if you're on the tool, you can have a look at them. We have competitor analysis, helpful content, and also the SEO performance. If you'd like to try it out, give it a go. If you've got any problems, just jump over down here on the chat. I hope you got a bit of value from this video. If you like it, Give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you in the next one.